Hello Caffeine Fiends and welcome to another coffee review video for www.getbean.com. I'm Vince the Mean Bean Machine and today we're looking at Origin Coffee's Hua Chu Washed Beans. Now I chose these beans because they're from China and I don't think I've particularly ever tried Chinese coffee which is very interesting. Um, you don't or I don't necessarily think of it as a coffee growing region but it's a massive country with uh, you know the right temperature and mountains to offer shade and, and different altitudes so there's no reason why it can't grow coffee and um, evidently it can but can it grow decent coffee well if origin roasters are offering it it suggests yes so i bought this bag of 250 grams for 13 pounds 90 which is steep in my mind but cost of living has gone up £13.90 is probably gonna, gonna be what well, we're looking at more and more and more and more anyway so it says the tasting notes are blackberry elderflower and sugar cane so blackberry fruity but with a bit of tartness you know maybe a little bit of acidity on the front of the tongue tip of the tongue just there so a nice kind of tart, sharp acidity, hopefully, blackberry, but you know, fruity as well. Um, elderflower, so floral, uh, a light kind of toppy note there. And I would imagine that would complement that acidity quite well. And then sugar cane, so sweet, very sweet. So it's not notes I would naturally go for, but I think I would quite like that quite like these 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 mixtures these, these notes these tones so we'll see we'll see we'll uh espresso it then oat latte it see what we think so let's go blend this up and have a cup of coffee So there we have our espresso shot, looks nice and creamy with the crema. Slight acidity coming off it. You can get a little bit of that berry fruitiness, not a lot. But that is the main thing that comes through, I suppose. So, chin chin, here goes. Yeah, first thing to hit you is that berry smoothness. There is a slight, that, that, I wouldn't say elderflower, but that floral note is definitely there, but that berryness really kind of pushes through. It's almost like a sour black curd, in a, in a, that acidity doesn't, it's not sweet, that sugar cane note doesn't make it kind of super sweet. I understand why it's there, it, it's, it offers a kind of, you know, upbeat earthiness to it, but, Ultimately, I'm getting almost like a sour kind of uh, blackberry to it, which which is is quite pleasant. Not what I'd expected at all. As a as a if I were drinking this as an espresso shot, <laughs> which I am, um, but if I were an espresso drinker, that would be something probably quite different to what I'd usually gravitate towards, and I'd be like, oh, that's quite fruity and but sour, a bit like you know a sour mash of of, of bourbon or something. Pleasant though. Not a great deal of acidity, but it does just kind of peak the very tip of the tongue. And ever so slightly. It doesn't catch the back of the throat, but it is there. So you've got this kind of sour cherry. It's really quite pleasant if that's your 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 bag. Um not sure how it's gonna work out with milk because it's gonna make that creamier. Um, oat milk in this case, but it's it's, it's nice, I like that, I like that. It's definitely not what I expected, but I do like it. So let's latte the situation and see how we feel then.
latte poured, done and dusted. Quite happy with that pour actually, a bit bubbly, but pretty happy with it. So here's how it's gonna go down. All right, let's give it a sip, see what we think. Right. Really, really dramatically paired back. And I, then I think that sugary note starts to come out. Oddly enough, the sweetness suddenly is amped up. And that cherry note remains, but it's not a sour cherry. The, the sugar cane is coming through. And suddenly it's a really sweet cherry, almost like a cherry kind of sweet. <laughs> um, wow, that's a dramatic change in how how it reacts to the, the oat milk. And that kind of slight acidic ping has just kind of gone and flipped on its head to, to be a really sweet fruity coffee in the morning. And, and, and the creaminess of the milk doesn't detract from that. It almost makes it more of a, a confectionery flavour rather than a fruity flavour. And it's really bizarre that it's gone from this kind of nice sour cherry to a, to a kind of sugary, sweet-like cherry just through the addition of milk. So that is an unbelievably versatile coffee. I will give you that. Wow, wow. So really impressed with the way that's kind of flipped on its head and managed to complement both being kind of a, something slightly different in the espresso, you know, field as it were, and then whack in some oat milk and suddenly you've got this really kind of almost confection like thing i mean you have that with like a bakewell tart or something you know with a cake at a coffee shop and suddenly you're you're firing on all cylinders i'm really impressed by the way that just flips like that that's incredible um how how that does that i'm not quite sure anyway i'll go away have a thought finish my coffee write up my final thoughts and then we'll be back to let you know in the meantime hit those like and subscribe buttons check us out at www.getbeamed.com and uh yeah see you all in a bit here we are with my final thoughts as you can see i've given it an impressive four stars despite its price um so just to kind of reiterate my earlier point, sour cherry notes from the espresso with strong fruity vibes. It's really nice, there's kind of a, a nice bite on the tip of the tongue, but then that sourness switches to a sweetness when the oat milk, you know, I don't know if it switches, but it, it sort of, you, you're not getting sour, you're, you're, you get this more of a sharp confectionery taste, like you know when you get sour sweets, but you know it's just very sharp, and it's, it's a bit like that. Um, and it's really quite pleasant. It's not like super sharp. It's not. It doesn't kind of wake you up. But it's it's it, it's definitely there. It becomes more like a like a sweeter, uh, you know, a cherry flavored gummy or something. Um, so yeah, those are my thoughts on Origin Coffee's Wachu Washed from China, the first Chinese coffees that I've tried, and I'm very impressed. Thank you very much. Do hit those like and subscribe buttons, and we'll see you soon. Bye bye.